introduction is saying the wavelength with the best reputation for vascular treatments is not labeled a zero maintenance cost because this is the really the key point. You can say that till now for to have this kind of wavelengths 585, from 585 typically tuned up to 595 nanometers. There was just a dilation for the treatment of portland stains, rosacea, also for a single telangiectasia on the face, for supplemental lesions like, uh, like uh, the, the lentigos, for example. This kind of uh, laser is not so diffuse in private practice, also it is a very good wavelength for this kind of operations. And this is because uh, it's producing this kind of transitory side effects, so the purpura. Purpura is when the blood vessels are broken down by the high peak power of the laser. In the case of the dye laser, it's not a case switch, but is delivering a burst of uh, very, very short passes, creating a fast expansion, like the, uh, the photoacoustic effect. In this case, it's not photoacoustic, but is a, a thermal expansion of the vessel with uh, leakages producing leakages. This is not a reditima, it's a, something called purpura. And especially for dark skin types can cause uh, post-inflammatory pigmentations. And anyway, it is a recovery time that is taking typically a phase a week. The second, the second reason is also because there are consumables. So there are dyes that will be uh, replaced often with a certain cost and a certain stop for the, uh, for the device. So we decided to, uh, to implement this new technology that is a semiconductor technology, differential web modified optical pump and semiconductor. <laughs> it's a very long name to say that it's not a diode. It's much more complicated than a diode. For, unfortunately, a diode cannot provide this well. But it has a the characteristic of the diode, of uh, the semiconductors, so it's no maintenance. And they can work in a pulsed mode, in a real pulsed or continuous mode. So not in a balanced of pulses, producing treatment with no purpura and no maintenance. It's important that the device is respecting the working principle of the selective photothermalizer, so the right method for the for the treatment, uh, the right pulse width, the right uh, fluence, and we are rich. We have to work with the device with the right pulse duration to <coughs> close selectively the blood vessels that are affected in this way, not in the dye laser way, but in the real millisecond effect. So immediately after the laser pulse, there's no the explosion of the vessel, but the contraction of the west vessel walls and the vessel is appear immediately really there but is coagulated and shrinks. After a couple of uh, days, typically two, three days, appear again as a microcrust inside the skin. It disappears typically on the face in about seven days. Why we decide to adopt the 585? There are also other wavelengths working in uh, in vascular. Similar to the, they are similar to this one, 532, 577. You see that the 585 is not really acting on the peak of absorption of the hemoglobin, but a little bit after. Because on the peak, there are other two lasers that in the hemoglobin, for example, are equivalent the 532, the KTP, and the 577, the typical wavelength of the top can provide. This, the 585 is a little less absorbed by the blood. The same is for the oxygen globin. We decided to, to use a little, little bit longer wavelength as the dye is doing to increase the penetration. The penetration that depends by the average absorption by melanin and globin, sometimes also water, because there's no water absorption. And uh, with this kind of wavelength, just sacrificing a little bit the coefficient of absorption that is not affecting the, the treatments. We uh, really think, as in the dye studies, is the opposite. 
because when the absorption is too much, now I have to add the slide and yes, to that and explain this concept. But when the absorption is very, very high, sometimes it's creating an effect that is called an umbrella effect, it means that the equivalators are just the upper part of the vessel that is protecting the lower part. So something sometimes not good, not so much absorbed is better to formulate a big mass, we can say, off target. But most important is penetrating 50% more than, for example, the KTB. So we can target deeper, uh, deeper targets, the deeper uh, lesions. These are the indications: vascular, pigmented lesions. Also, the melasma is used a lot in Asia for that with a scanner. Because the melasma is not only just a pigmentation, there is also a, a, a proliferation of small blood vessel associated often with the uh, with this kind of uh, lesion. And this one is coagulating also this that is producing is producing is one of the components of the chronic inflammation is producing it. But because it's coagulating, can but and can be used also in continuous mode. And also vaporize, so can be used for very for small intervention in dermatology, like uh, warts, fibroma, seborrheic atosis. Can treat also the red component of the scars, and of course the hematoma and porphyrin stains. Fine line and wrinkles typically just associated with muscular and pigmented lesions. So. It's not like a CO2 that is absorbed by water. If it does not target, so no blood vessels visible, absorbing, and pigmentations, the results are less than with other technique. So here, are just some uh, pictures of uh, spider and job on the nose. Another one is some telangiectasia. Telangiectasia again, again. This is a correct dosis. This is a small mole, so it can be used also for this kind of organizations. You can see the minimal hyperpigmentation here. Again, so the advantage is that it's okay, it's a very well known weapon, but they're now compact and transportable with absolutely no maintenance. Is a suitable for all most all skin types because is at least absorbed by melanin compared with KTP and also with the 577. It's very easy to use as a small device. There are a few settings to, to, to do. And it's really, really in a few seconds. So the target typically of this device, so who can be can benefit uh, by the use of this device? For who is searching a versatile light laser? But, uh, and they are not interested, or they have already a device for obviously epilation or treatments or other kind of treatments. They want a laser for these segments, vascular on the face, or to stains, maybe, some kind of rejuvenation <coughs> applications, small dermatology. And uh, they want absolutely to not have any kind of frowning cost. I think this. Uh, Okay, it was a very short, but uh, just to, for example, to go ahead or this day will really, be really too long. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any questions about this, please?